Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will try to modify the data which is present inside the component. That is nothing but the state data. So up to now, we have seen in the previous video. So we are sending the data from one component to another using props. But if the data is present inside that component only. So if you want to have the data inside that component, so which should be uh, useful for only to that component only. So we, uh, which should be useful for that only component. So if you want to modify the data, how we can do that one. So now let's try to see. I am creating our old days uh, project. So there is nothing but the post. And I am having another one component that is nothing but the single post. Okay, single post. Here I will be using post.js. Post.js. This is one component. And here I will be having another component that is nothing but the single post.js. <coughs> okay, these are the two components so now let's create the post extends component okay it should be imported from the react you need to remember and as soon as you are using the class cover you as you uh, you are using the class for uh, defining the component you need to have the render method so in this render method you need to return the html part now post data we have did so now here i can use export default post this is the component and now here i will be using class single post okay extends component and in this component what we get to do we need to import this component and we will be having the render method so in this render method i will be returning div okay and here i will be having one div of type uh, post title so that is nothing but the now um, this dot props dot title okay we will be sending this one using the props and here i will be using description okay now here i can use export default single post right sufficient now done now what i can do here in the post what i will try to do is i will try to use this single post and in the same scenario i will be using this single post here i need to send the title of type post1 and description of type post1 sorry post1 description okay in the same scenario i can remove this single post and i can use this post2 and the post2 description so this is the basic outlay of the data so we are having just we are we have created two components that is a post component this is the main component and in this one single post so that in the post component we are using each single post now if you want to use this one let's go to the app.js i am removing this all the things okay and i can directly use post right so post i can use directly and here i can remove this button and hello world so just for creating the components we have seen so we have did this one so now if i want to check the output if i go here i am able to see the post data post one and the post two we are able to see this one Let's try to do some design using the tailwind. So here what I will try to do is I will try to add class is equal to flex and I will add something like text hyphen sorry border okay border hyphen gray hyphen uh, something like 400. So I will add the shadow. So this is the thing what I will try to implement. So if I try to go here yeah, we are able to see here. So flex should not be available in here. So we can go to the post.js and I can add class is equal to flex. Now how it will look like? Just check. Yeah, let's apply them some margin and padding. And here we can use this. We, let's close this app.js. Yeah, in the single post I can add something like m iphone 4 and p iphone 3. Something like this we can use. So this is the thing. And here I can use something like h3 and class name we need to use the class name you need to remember this one class name okay so it, it will apply but it will throw some error in the console so now here i can write something like text hyphen excel or something like this text hyphen excel and font hyphen bold i can use font hyphen bold so and i can use mm, text hyphen uh, red uh, or otherwise blue text hyphen blue hyphen 600 or something like this let's leave it like this okay now this is the text 
and now these are the posts so let's go to the post.js and here i will apply some h3 uh, or h2 posts list and i will be having one hr link here okay and these all should be as you already know these all should be wrapped in one big div why because you will get an error or otherwise so i can remove this one all and i can paste it down and i can remove this extra div i don't know why it came so this is the post list so here if you want you can apply class is equal to text type and to excel okay so now let's leave it like this okay so now we are able to see now i will apply some what i can say I will apply some margin and padding so here my iphone 3 and here also my iphone 3 or something like this let's try to see the output yeah fine so these are the post details we are able to see so this is the big post post component and here we are having the single post component now here we are sending the post data like this right now what i will try to do is i will try to add one variable state variable okay so in this one what will normally so this state variable will be the data so which is responsible uh, which is useful for only this component so we are having just like how we are maintaining some in the angular we will be maintaining the properties right in the same scenario we need to maintain the state as an object you need to remember like a store state how we have maintained the angular in grx the same scenario it follows here so here i will be having the post data so it should be an array and here i can write title of type post1 and description of type post one description okay post one description so this is first one and i can copy the same thing here and i can paste it okay so these are the two posts so right now we are having in one variable so you need to remember this one we need to add, add, you add it as a object only whatever the variables you want to use in this component you need to add it as a property to this one so for example if here if you want to keep post title so here i can give so post list or something like this so here i can use this title so how we can use as this one is a class component you can directly use something like using the this property this dot state dot post title you can directly use like this and here in the same scenario you need to use sorry this dot state dot posts of zero dot title okay in the same scenario what i can do here it will be post dot description so we can we can uh, we can loop over this one also we'll try to see the looping thing and all those things in the next videos in the coming videos just i'm showing you the state data so how we can use the variables in the component so here i can use the same thing and i can copy here post one and the post one so description okay now here we have used this one so now let's try to see the output the same output we are able to see the same output so but nothing changes there but the data what we are getting from what the post we are showing is coming from the variables so here we have used the variables now i want to modify this data so now i want to modify this data. how can i modify so let's try to run this set timeout okay set timeout of i will be running a method in this one for uh, for three seconds after three seconds so here what i will try to do is this dot state sorry this dot state dot post of zero okay dot title is equal to modified post or something like this okay in order to know whether it's running or not let's try to do the console console dot log okay so modi modifying okay so now if i try to run this code okay so if i try to console.log inspect element here if you go to the console so here you will be able to see the error the error this is the error i want to show you we are using the class class instead of the class name so we are we need to be alert on this one so now here i can use the class name wherever we are using this class so this is little bit tough uh, thing we need to remember in the react js so uh, the error will not be there but we need to be aware of this one okay so that's it so now let's try to check the output here i will try to refresh so uh, so far no errors and here we got an error that modifying see it has been executed but here it is telling that do not mutate state directly use use state so like this it is saying so that means we we should not 
modify the state directly we should use the set state method what is this set state method so now if you want to do the set state method how we can modify is so we need to you we need to use the immutability method of updating the state properties so how we can update is first of all let's take the post data okay so i am taking it a muta uh, immutably so post data sorry this dot state dot post okay state dot post first we need to take it immutably so now i want to update the data so how i can update posts of 0 dot title is equal to modified post data so whatever the data you want to update you can update it here posts of 1 dot title is equal to so modified post second data or something like this and now if you want to uh, add it to the state now you need to use this dot set state okay so you need to use this dot set state so this is the method you need to use this dot set state and here you need to give the post so now what it will do so the data here it will not touch these all the things it will only change only the post data so it will it will replace everything whatever the post data we are sending it will replace everything let's try to see the output here if i try to refresh this one okay so now here it will change see it has been modified okay so why it is executing six times seven times i will tell you so why because every time the state is getting updated every time the state is getting updated so the render method will be called immediately okay so for that reason it is executing so we can remove it afterwards but for in order to see how the set state is working we will check so whenever the state updates here it will immediately invokes the render method immediately the render method will execute okay this is the thing you need to remember now the post data is implemented okay so, so this is how we will be changing the data and also if you want to change the data here what we can do is so this dot set and also if you want to change this post title how we can change is this dot set state this dot set state of okay so we need to change the post title at post title post title so modified post title i can use like this so like this we can implement or otherwise if you want to write it you can write it in a one bit like this also so but if you are having a single post like something like this if you, if you are not having array of objects like this complicated thing so for the complicated structure we need to use the shallow updating immutability updating we need to use using the spread syntax or object.assign whatever the method you whatever the thing you are using the map operator using the slice operator so so many so many methods are there to update this one and also for a single post single property value key value pair means if you want to update you can directly update it like this this dot state is equal like this now if i try to check the data here okay so here also it is changed see so the title also has been changed and the post data also has been changed so these are the here you will be sending the data into this one so the automatically the property uh, the components will be sending the data into this one so this is the state uh, state property how we will be using the card variables inside the component okay hope you understood about the state thing so still more lot of thing is there in the state we will learn one by one one by one yeah in, into this one so we have seen the modifying of the state in the class but what about this functional prop functional component so if you want to change the data in the functional component how we can change let's try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.